Hello everyone, my name is Brooke McKinney. I'm thrilled to be presenting here today alongside my coworker, Matt Richards. Together, we are speaking on behalf of Art with a Heart in Healthcare, a 501c3 nonprofit organization dedicated exclusively to arts and healing. I will begin with a little background about myself. I earned an under, undergraduate degree in psychology with a concentration in child psychology, as well as a minor in fine arts from the University of North Florida. I then went on to earn my master's degree in arts and medicine from the Uni University of Florida. I interned with Art with a Heart in Healthcare during my final year of undergrad in 2016 and have been an artist in residence ever since. In addition to being an artist in residence, I also fulfill the role of communications. Within this position, I carry out responsibilities such as curating our social media, writing newsletters, and planning projects. I'll now hand it over to Matt to tell you more about himself and his role within Art with a Heart. Hi, everyone. My name is Matthew Richards. I've been working with Art with a Heart in healthcare for about eight years as an artist in residence. I studied 2D and 3D animation, sequential art, visual storytelling at the Savannah College of Art and Design, and have been working within the commercial design space for about 20 years. I also manage the video production and hardware software technologies for Art with a Heart. For 20 years, Art with a Heart in Healthcare has been fulfilling our mission of providing fine art experiences that enhance the healing process for patients and their families. Art with a Heart in Healthcare's mission is rooted in the understanding that artistic expression promotes physical and emotional wellness, which can lead to improved patient outcomes. The hospital staff, patients, and families we work with report that our services help relieve stress, pain, and fear while empowering patients who find themselves in an otherwise powerless situation. Art with a Heart provides services in several healthcare facilities around Jacksonville, Florida. Currently, we are in Baptist Health, Wolfson Children's Hospital, Mayo Clinic Jacksonville Campus, Mayo Clinic Cancer Center at St. Vincent's, and Nemours Children's Specialty Care Clinic. Here is an overview of the services Art with a Heart and Healthcare provides. Over time, our organization continues to evolve the services we offer in order to meet the needs of patients, their families, and our community. First, we provide bedside art sessions. We also provide group art sessions and virtual art sessions. In addition, we partner with MOCA Jacksonville to create patient art exhibits. We also provide meaningful art projects for support groups. We carry out many special projects in the hospital. We also provide art sessions for healthcare related community events, as well as healing pan, healing hand pan sound sessions at the hospital. While there's much more we could tell you about our in-person services, Today, we will be focusing on the technological approaches we've been using to connect with patients in the current times and to promote health, healing, and well-being. We are, we are spearheading this objective through three initiatives, a virtual arts program, live art tutorials that are streamed from the hospital media center, and a meaningful digital arts project. Our hope is that you can all learn from these strategies of utilizing technology to deliver art experiences to whomever your target audience may be. We will begin with telling you about the first way we're using technology to engage patients and to promote health, healing, and well-being, which is through our virtual arts program called Let's Make Art. Since the start of COVID lockdowns, we have pivoted to online art sessions through our virtual arts program called Let's Make Art. This is in addition to providing in-person art sessions in the hospital. Let's Make Art consists of weekly Facebook live art tutorial, tutorials that are later uploaded to our YouTube channel, monthly art shows in the Wilson Children's Hospital Media Center, free printable coloring pages, as well as healing music and storytelling soundtracks. While certain aspects have become staples of the program, the strategies and procedures involved in implementing them will continue to evolve as needed in the future. Initiating this program proved to be a steep learning curve, but we are proud of the progress we have made thus far in improving the overall quality and efficiency. For the art tutorials, our team of artists and residents first filmed themselves making an art piece using a variety of 2D and 3D mediums, such as paint, oil pastels, and origami. We then used time remapping in Adobe After Effects to speed the video up, giving it a time-lapse effect, 
and making the length about 10 to 15 minutes. Next, we record a voiceover describing step-by-step -step instructions of how to create the piece. Then we add a calming pre-recorded background music played on the hand pan that we also create in here in house. Here is a brief example. We will now move on to the second way we are using technology to reach patients during the pandemic, which is through art tutorials filmed in the Media Center, and I will hand it back over to Brooke to tell you more about it. While there are many facets of our virtual arts program, we will elaborate more today on the art tutorials that are filmed in Wilson Children's Hospital Media Center. For these art sessions, Art with a Heart artists and residents prepare and demonstrate an engaging art project that is live streamed throughout the hospital and on our social media pages. Prior to starting the project, child life specialists provide us with patient referrals. We go to each of the recommended patient rooms and invite them to participate. We provide those who wish to join the art making fun with the materials needed to follow along. The tutorials are filmed in the media center and played on the patient's TVs across the hospital allowing several patients to participate at once from the comfort and safety of their own rooms. We also live stream these art sessions on our social media platforms, allowing the general public and homebound patients to participate as well. This helps us to increase the accessibility and inclusivity of our services. Pictured here is artist in residence, Dylan. He is illustrating a piece inspired by the artist, Paul Gauguin. Most of the artwork that Dylan does for the Media Center shows is inspired by master artists. He teaches their artistic approach and other fun facts about the artists themselves. Other times, the subject matter of the art tutorials are seasonally themed and are designed to teach general techniques and terminology. Many patients enjoy following along from the hospital and at home with our media center art tutorials, as well as working one-on-one -on -one with our art, worth the heart artists and residents. This includes Jillian, a patient with whom we have had the pleasure of working with over the past few years during her treatments. We interviewed Jillian to learn more about her perspective as a patient working with our team and would like for you to enjoy it now. What does Art With A Heart mean to you? To me, art with the heart means like healing and also like distraction from like illness, I guess. It's nice to have like you guys come in and like talk to and stuff. What is your take on the Facebook Live, the media shows? Yeah. What's I think it's really cool because you can do it from anywhere. Like I go home for two weeks and um uh, I saw Brooke doing the cherry blossoms. Mm -hmm. um, so it's like you can still stay like, connected, I guess, if you want to, even if you're not in the hospital. Because I still like make art at home too. Um, and it's, it's best, I just feel like it's more accessible, you know? Jillian has developed friendships with many of our artists during her hospital stays and is a talented artist herself. Her love for art has not only helped her cope with the stress and anxiety involved in the healthcare experience, but has also guided her decision to change her major in college to studio art with the hopes of working in the field of arts and health her herself someday. I will leave it to Matt to tell you about the technology used to make these media center shows possible. Thank you, Brooke. 
In order to produce the videos for the Media Center, there are a few hardware and software requirements that were integral to creating quality content. We use a laptop with sufficient graphics processing capabilities, a camera with minimum of 1080p resolution. Videos are streamed using OBS, Open Broadcasting Software. Uh, any graphical elements, color correction, or editing, such as in the video we just shared, were created in Adobe After Effects or Adobe Premiere. It's also fair to note that the audio and any of the pre-recorded content is cleaned up in Adobe Audition to remove any background noise or unwanted elements. Still images are then enhanced for sharing on social media and promotional purposes and are created using Adobe Photoshop and Canva. The live videos are then streamed on Facebook and Instagram while the Hospital Media Center is equipped with its own broadcasting system that reaches each patient on their hospital-run TVs. We are now also looking into using a service like Restream.io for streaming to multiple platforms simultaneously as well. Finally, we will share about a meaningful digital arts project we did with patients to promote health, healing, and well-being, and I will let Brooke tell you more about it. For the past decade, Art with a Heart in Healthcare has partnered with, with, with Wolfson Children's Hospital and the Museum of Contemporary Art of Jacksonville, also known as MOCA, to create patient art exhibits. This year's patient art exhibit is a meaningful digital arts project called Behind the Mask. Working together with Art with a Heart Artists in Residence, the participating patients created digital self-portraits and designed face masks that are unique to their own interests and personalities. They also answered the question, what are you thinking behind your mask? This question provided patients with the opportunity to artistically express their inner thoughts and feelings. Their answers were later presented as comic book-like quote bubbles and written biographies which accompany their portraits. The style of this project was inspired by iconic pop artist Roy Lichtenstein, complete with bold colors, shadows, and dot patterns, which helped to unite the individual compositions into one cohesive exhibition. Overall, this project promoted self-confidence and creative expression during the patient's hospital experiences, all while instilling a sense of pride and accomplishment and knowing their artwork will be displayed in MOCA and then in other locations around Jacksonville. Since we have already begun to tell you about Jillian's story, we will highlight her artwork that is featured in the Behind the Mask exhibition. This is the second time Jillian has participated in an Art with a Heart patient art exhibit. Behind her mask, Jillian is asking the question, why did I end up here? As this is her second time receiving treatment at Wolfson Children's Hospital. To describe her mask, Jillian explains, I went to college at UNC to become a nurse, but God drew me back to the hospital to become an artist. In her free time, Jillian enjoys painting, walking on the beach, and spending time with her family. Each artwork that is featured in this exhibit is displayed with the patient's personal story, as well as a more in-depth look into what they are thinking behind the mask. I will turn it back over to Matt to explain more about the technical process behind creating this meaningful digital arts project. Thank you, Brooke. So artists took a photo of the patient. The artist in residence took a photograph of the patient on the iPad, then imported it into Procreate, which is a graphics editor app for digital painting. The artist then handed over control to the patient to create outlines of their portrait and to add color and design to their masks. In order to create files that were able to be printed in high quality for the museum, we had to follow a, a few guidelines um, Specifically, the resolution needed to be at least 300 DPI. The files were also created 8 by 10, 8, 8 inches by 10 inches on separate layers for ease of editing. They were then imported into Photoshop so we could replace the skin areas with a halftone pattern of dots matching as closely as possible the style of Lichtenstein's work. We then created appropriate backgrounds maintaining thematic continuity with the patient artwork using elements created in Adobe Photoshop and Illustrator. 
To visit the exhibit in person, you can go to the MOCA website to schedule an in-person tour. MOCA also created a virtual tour to allow people to experience the experience of walking through the exhibit from their phones or computers. And here is a quick view of the final walkthrough. So here we have the main entrance. And if we go forward, we can choose which part of the gallery we want to stand in. And since we were just talking about Jillian's work, let's go to hers. So I can click on her work. And they all have the original files, so they were able to upload high resolution files for the display here. And then it's got a brief uh, synopsis of why the, the child decided or the patient decided to use those specific design choices. And there are several examples here. And if you want to check them out, definitely go to our website, the, uh, the exhibition exhibit section, and I believe there's going to be a link there. All right. Thank you so much for your time and attention today. We have loved sharing about art with a heart in healthcare and how we are utilizing the technologies to promote health, healing, and well-being. Thank you so much for having us today. If you have any questions or you would like to reach out, reach out to us in the future, please feel free to contact us at awahih.org. And we look forward to speaking with you.